Hey everybody, Superfluous J here, playing some Into the Breach, and I have somehow made it to the final island with Containment Failure, the original Containment Failure, uh, with uh, uh, in the Flame Mech with Force Amp. Uh, we've got Flame Jones and Zabethany uh, with the Flame Shielding and uh, Vulcan Artillery all fully leveled up, and these guys all leveled up. And last but not least, we've got Rafaro42, uh, who has Flying. He uh, has a bunch of uh, everything, and we just picked up Burning Mortar, which uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of, but we've got fire. Fire is our thing. So let's go ahead and leave the island. Let's go to the final island, and let's lose this thing in style. Uh, we're going to put you over here. We're going to put you here. We're going to put you here, and we're going to see what happens. Um, the yellow one flies, so possibly should have put the yellow one over here just because... Uh, he's the only one who can who can come over onto these these things. We gotta watch out because the both flame mechs do damage, so we can't shoot our power pylons, which could be considered a uh, detriment. We'll say. Definitely got to deal with this, and I definitely should have thought of that when I was when I was doing this whole thing. But hey, what are you gonna do? Um, Okay, so there's that. That saves our guys. Yeah, we, like I said, I don't. I really don't expect to win this. Um, we can benefit from the force amp by doing this, and we can. We can't save these things. So why not destroy them by pushing him in the water? That way, he's at least dead. And we're gonna take two more damage from him. Yeah, I don't like I said. I don't. I really don't expect we're gonna win. I don't. I didn't expect we we're gonna take four damage on the first turn. Granted, but that's comparable to how I expected to go. More comparable than say winning. Okay, so you. Uh, you're actually better off here, because you can do this and then bump him and that kills him. Then you can come over here and shoot like the nya. And then you are relegated to just pushing him out of the way. Actually, you're not. You are not in any way, shape, or form relegated to that. You can do this which will cause extra damage to him, which is good because I totally forgot that part. Okay, <laughs> I would reset, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it matters, let's put it that way. Okay, we're down to one grid defense, and we haven't even made it off the, the top of the island. Okay, he's at least going to be stopped from his from his attack. Um, this does a lot of damage. Not enough damage, but a lot of damage. So we're going to do it. And you're going to come here and do this. And then you are going to push him this way. And that actually does stop everything bad from happening. <clears throat> okay, of course, when he's going to die anyway, <laughs> he ends up on there, but what are you going to do? Like I said, you notice that, that I have not yet once seen a situation where I could use the, uh, the flame thing. Um, let's do that, and um, we, we finally can now use it, but it's completely useless. So, why don't we do this and just lay a bunch of fire on the ground, just for the fun of it. And we somehow made it to the final battle. Or the, the, to the underground final battle. If we can somehow make it through this without uh, a single grid damage, I personally will be shocked and amazed. Um, 
But, you know, anything can happen, right? Anything. The anything that's going to happen is that we're going to lose. Um, especially with a uh, digger and a Weber. This is probably one of the better bosses to get. He doesn't web anybody. He doesn't he doesn't throw things. He doesn't shoot in two directions. He does shoot three sh shots, which is scary. But we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's find out together. Okay, that's all less than ideal, we'll say. Um Okay, first, get you out. Second, block a spawn, I guess. Yeah, we're going to lose this turn. Um, Terrible move. And another terrible move. Yeah. We have a 24% chance of continuing the game. <laughs> yeah, this squad, what this squad needs is an upgrade to the flame shielding that causes your fire to be to do an extra damage. I think that would that would make that flame shielding awesome. And it could cost four. I don't know. It could, it could be ridiculously high powered. But that, that would have made this squad in particular um, much better at the end game. Uh, the you know the ability for, for your fire to do two damage instead of one would be ridiculously probably be OP, but I would love to try it. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it. It doesn't matter who I take, because next time I play, if I do play again, I will be rolling a random person. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it. It's funny, the last episode was like 30 minutes long. This one's seven. What are you going to do? I hope you enjoyed watching this, though. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm Superfluous J, and I will, as always, talk at you later.